on Ezreal is not an afterthought because <laughs> that man is one amazing Ezreal. And there's the poppy. They actually uh, give it over to Smeb in this one. I uh, don't expect him to bully Darshan, uh, you know, just because they have. Uh, they've been able to track the enemy junglers really well, but Peanut actually goes right by it, but Hootie level right one, down. bro! Right gets hit, yes, it is the roam! That fog of war toggle on the top side. Whoa. Oh. Tunnel vision on the jugglers and it's the Rocks Tigers. That's the thing, you can't stay predictable. We talked about, yeah, he likes to play this lane aggressively. Oh, they're on so Gorilla right now. Move. A few shots coming out of Peacemaker oh. through Gorilla. Oh. And it's gonna be Afro oh. Moo that picks up the next kill. That's beautiful layering the headbutt pulverize into range in time. That allowed him to... Uh-oh, Afro has no flash, remember? Afro definitely pulling out the Rome card today. It might get him in trouble here on this one. A great block by Stixay on the Q, a Q coming out from Gorilla. Uh -oh. But Smebs teleport on point. He's going to get one more shot, and as the chase happens towards Tribrush, and Afro is going to try to walk this one now. They get to kill the prey, so it's a few assists left and right. The minion wave is crashing to top, so of course we'll take touched on. The big yeah. thing about Aurelian Soul, who we see on our screen, is also the build path. You can go so different with it, but we're seeing Whoa. that ganking ability. Ghosting Just gonna early walk right here. into this fight. They have backline immediately, but Prey has scattered beautifully. Gorilla going to the other side. He has flashed, probably going to hold it as he goes down. But again, the attack from CLG on bot lane. And there's a reason. Gold and their teleports right now. That's why neither of them wants to really give up ground because of the playmaking ability of teleport. Gets the passive out of Kuro. There's going to be enough. And the voice of light drops Kuro, who he picks it up. Really smart stuff from CLG. We saw Kuro reflect the Rasnar, and that really is, you know, the uh oh. That's the uh oh, that's right, Kobe. <laughs> a peacemaker through Gorilla. He is gonna get dropped most likely, but pray the bodyguard comes in. Six days out of mana and peanut over the wall. Flash knock up onto him. The rest of the team is closing in. New challenges approach oh. from the top side, and that's gonna be the prey seeker hit coming in. Beautiful job, Peanut with the swipes. Gorilla is gonna go down as Stixay has fallen as well. And that's damage for CLG that they're not gonna have here in this fight. Seems like who he's a bit scattered. Darshan on the outside as they try to drop Peg Prey. They don't have a priority focus here. And it looks like so with the deep. walkout, they can't help Darshan. Prey is an absolute monster. Darshan's not hey, done yet, but I honestly, that is a highlight Prey, like, right? I, that, on that 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 inside enemy territory. And what I want people to take away from that is the fact that he never stops doing damage, never not going right. for Mystic Shots, never zone, but this time, maybe. One of my favorite things about a player is that they fight to the very last breath because your teammates can still pull that fight. Around Darshan, doesn't have flash this time, so should be able to make it. Oh, he turned around, he gave him the knock up. He may also get the slow for himself an off the boomerang. This is uh, semi closing from Smab. He has turned around on the null zone. Is going to be doing good oh. damage, Darshan. There is enough. And Smithy actually left him there. Smithy was very close in the. Exactly. They've actually used this time very wise. They have almost complete control on the inside track. Aframu. Rocks has always been able to answer CLG's kill. Now CLG again wants to answer back. Rinse and repeat as they go to the top side. And a double kill for Huhi. This is something we have sorely missed. Aframu on the Thunder Cow with Ignite. Go button just smashing it over and over again. The new age barn pick didn't really work for him the last time out, but bringing back the Alistair is still going. Snab's gonna be getting hit on this one. He throws back a bit of damage, but oh, he wants to chase a few more autos. Six A in range and Six A picks up lanes. That's how you hinder the rotations of Rock Tigers. You know, and whoa, stifle the income. Woo. A headshot coming over from Stixa. Voice of Light causing Gorilla to flash. They're on a smithy now. He should definitely go down in this fight, but gets himself out. Beautiful heal as he was hopping away from Aframu. Just a little triumphant roar. And Rox is trying to focus these kills, trying to edge out a little bit more as they watch a smithy and other champions get away with a sliver of health. Now Darshan starts to attack back with the rest of the team. Finds Peanut by himself. Who's going to pick this one up? Who he gets it with the star? and puts another one on the board. And they have pressure on two lanes. They can pick up now and never give there any inch. There isn't a nocturne to turn this game on the head. Sure, late game team fighting, but I don't know if we're going to see a late game. That's a very good point. This is zero hesitation, CLG. Under the turret could be a little scary for him, and it's going to be one, two down now. If Smithy falls, but it's Takuro and Prey. With just about two to 300 health between Huki and Darshan, they're oh, going to start Peanut. backing off. Peanut could get a pop. It's up. time yet. Yeah. Kalen is just too safe. Smeb, though. 
There's the ghost. Blinking. Ghost from Kuro. He's trying to get the hit from Smab. They're right on his stick say. He goes down. They were waiting for the moment to pull the trigger. And who he's going to do a bit of damage to keep them at bay. It's not a Narbar from Darshan. They're not going to be too scared of it, but they are able to still group in mid lane. He's going to try to build that up Enough. now, but they do recognize the attack, and they say, there's nothing for Darshan. We can engage here. It's maybe going too far. He's forced to flash and cleanse out for himself. Prey very low on the outside, and Darshan's able to pick up Prey. As they get back into the fight, Kuki was just doing tick after tick. Yeah, of Bush. Looks like he is, and Prey as well. Here's your test, Papa. Oh. Very tanky. Level 15, 9, 0, oh! 2, Blows up Prey! Holy crap! Leaves the rest of the team to do so as they try to get away now. Smed, Keeper's Verdict, has no say in this fight. And he's gonna be the next focus. A Nar out from Darshan causes the rest of Rocks to turn away. And they get just that rocked out of the fight. And who he passes the test with flying colors! 100% spray before Smed even arrives! wonder why this Aurelian soul was not targeted. The information was out there. Everyone knew it was available against it. Bounce getting low. Now for a moon at fast spot, able to use the unbreakable will to crush Curl's ultimate. They're still trying though. Rocks sees these entries, but CLG's able to just act on them. These are the chances Rocks has to get back in. Darshan's now gonna get Hina in the top side. And it seems like CLG is able to stop that engage from Rocks Tigers every time. The big question. What does a team fight that the Rocks Tigers win even look like, Kobe? Maybe we're not even going to see a team fight because here's the gank crew. Smab, this could be Huhi over the wall. They get the GLP slow and they get the rest of the slow from the boomerang. This is a Guardian Angel going down. He didn't have one. I thought he did at the end. So many effects. That was Darshan's. Game as CLG try and take another inhibitor turret. In. Smab coming in. Keeper's verdict. How many does he get? That's going to be a Smithy. It's Dixay out of the fight. Huhi, Afro, Mu, and Darshan. Oh! A huge Nar on Ultimate again. Against the wall. Prey now with Sticks a 1v1 as he tries to get out of the fight. Kuro and Prey are down. That's the DPS. That's the fight as Rox runs for the fountain for Solace. And Peanut does everything he can. Going for broke with the last knockup. But Darshan's gonna follow him all the way home. And he's gonna look for more kills. Showing up on the world stage after having a troublesome season. The rest of CLG coming together as well here to pick up another victory at Worlds to go 2-1 in the first week. That man on screen deserves the hugs and the praise. Who he given his Aurelian soul and who he shows up. No other way to put it. Who he was by far the MVP. Not going to be any drama about the analysts trying to come up with one this game. And the draft was so strong from Zix and the playstyle as well. Sure. and Karma, very much a compositional right. pick. Yeah, you know, another NL champion here, uh, the Caitlyn. And we got Dave what we wanted. The Ezreal, the Alistar on Sword Eye. There you go, Papa. Uh, he's definitely going to take Duke, it. That does not look fun for MMD in the top lane as he's just getting cooked up. A little back and forth here as Karsa is on the backside of Faker. Voice of Light from Maple. There is no ult from Karsa, so Faker flashes over the wall. They're going to be able to connect first blood, though. Really nice stuff from Karsa. Good path thing, waited on the Q. Oh, Faker. picking Faker back. He did just get that flash up. They're trying to time it. Throws it back. Oh! The ultimate. Oh, Faker's he's in there! Right. He's dodging it. Looks for the movement speed from the Noxious Blast, but it's Maple that's faster. Karsa gets out. from landing his Q. What? Ah, so it was really good, and he tried to buy as much time as he could, but bottom lane. We're not done yet, boys. Ragnarok is on, and Blank calls for the stars. They're going to be able to get the kill down on NL. Blank's out. Bang's out of this one. Keeper's... Too often, but Maker knows his limits oh so well. Ashwell's setting her up around the red side. I guess an earlier dragon is possible for them. Blank, he's just dead. That's exactly what we talked about. The advantage of Lee Sin is being able to have that mobility and choose. Wait, it was crashing. I think he would have been happy with stealing a Krug, <laughs> but he got, he got a Olaf instead. It's like, I'm just going to counter jungle more. Oh, people! Maple down to the bop, flashes right on to try and get the double stun, but they spread. That means they only get a wolf. Good enough as Flash Rolls has bot lane. That's the thing, right? You know, jungling is so much. He is not going for a Krug steal. Oh. Bonus! There is this little guy here. Might have peeked him. You just say good guess. It's educated guess. It says, wow, okay, flash rules. Keep up the pressure. 
very, very fast early game. And that staff oh, left in the day. The extra scrim they would have done. Maybe well, this is the play finally. Whoa, Faker bashed up against the wall. Voice of light right in his face. Faker goes down. That's 50 seconds on the clock. This is where Flash Wolves have been trying to hit that accelerator. Oh. You were talking about Papa Smithy. Wolves going to keep it here, and the rest of the team is going to focus up to the top side. This should be two for Flash Wolves. Let's All see right, if they rotate by off. Baron. They can try and bait it out. Level 17 hasn't put down an equalizer yet. Through Flash Wolves. Inside the pit, and they're fighting him up. Oh, Blank, oh, Blank, already. Yeah, already, he stepped on the That's trap. early. Trying to eat up the cupcakes, Baker Blank. He wants to eat him up, but it's not going to be enough. He is now out of the Baron pit. The Equalizer goes down, and that's going to hurt Flash Wolves. They have to decide whether to stay, whether to go, and the Baron goes to Karsa. Great ejection there from MMD. Poppy Ultimate does get him out, and they only have to burn that Flash on Sword Out to escape. Very good Credit to Flash Wolves. After so many questions and criticism, it did take a long time, but they More. pulled it off. Oh, Wolf gets caught out doing a little warding. He goes down immediately. No summoners used on that, but he just came up oh, from the Silver Ultimate on the hunt. Should have a jump to safety if he wants to get it through Sword Art, but Kars is going to stay for this one. Doesn't decide to get out and goes down. Classic. You run on ahead without me. I will go down. I will you pay. You will to well, FKT. Three man coming towards Duke. Here oh, comes man. the proactive play. Maple going to be the first one to join the party. But this is what the Duke deserves. You give him a party. Three's a crowd. <laughs> Here comes the rest of Flash Wolves. 9-2, coming up on 35 minutes in, and Flash Wolves making a big statement here in the point. Down a few thousand gold, three or four K, and you can cover the names up and not know who would still be kind of winning that game. Or you, I'm sorry, you could cover the names. Gonna wait for it. And say this team is gonna win, not this one. With SKT, it's a toss-up, but right now being down in gold is not doing them any justice. They cannot mind game the Flash Wolves and continue to go down. 45 seconds for Blank. It doesn't look like it's going to stop for Flash Wolves. Good trap line there, and Poppy is running Whoa. interference. MMD, this is the same strategy. Really good defense of Baron. Flash Wolves turn their face cracked. I mean, Blank considers himself a tank. He's built a tanky yeah. boat. He's gone, got the Ragnarok, but he's the only one looking for vision. It's Flash Wolves. Right onto Wolf and Faker. They go down immediately, opening up Pandora's box. Flash Very Wolves deep, makes their way into SKT's base. 11 to 3 now. 37 minutes, just waiting for Duke to come back up so they can take him down again. And the base is broken for SKT. Minutes on the clock. 12 to 3 as they start up the Elder Drake. Lead for Flash Wolves, and these are the moments where SKT can get back in the game. The cupcake traps are laid. Blank's trying to work around him and dodges one, has the Guardian Angel to stay in the front. And Elder Dragon equalizer laid out, not hitting too many. It's going to Karsa. Flash Wolves look for the fight with MMD in the back line. Nobody gets stunned up, cannot be disabled Baker. on the side of Blank. And they're on to NL on the backside. Fight as well. Wolf and Sword are going head to head in the support war. Karsa takes down Faker after both the summoners are blown and that's Duke falling. Flash Wolves have eyes on the base. They're gonna do it! Flash Wolves against SKT. They forced the smite fight at the Elder Dragon and now they're chasing down the kills. Wolf has nowhere to go. MMD is on him and Maple closing in his side. Flash Wolves, 41 minutes in, never giving up this time, looking to put themselves on the board here in the first week of Worlds, and it's gonna be against SKT in the group. Flash Wolves take down SK Telecom. Would it be any sweeter? The questions were their analysts at home and abroad. Why can't this team finish? And look, we were right there next to them. We were like, I'm watching this. This looks eerily like the last two, but they made that big play on Faker. Auto attacking slowly on the outer top lane turret. They crucially snowboard from there. They stuck the landing, and Flash Wolves are on the board. Exactly. The magnifying glass was on Flash Wolves because...